Hey everybody, how are you today? Dr. Stephanie Stroud um, with Cornerstone's Pet Tip of the Week. Um, we've talked about this before, but it's such an important topic and I'm seeing lots of different bites and stuff from this that I wanna talk about it again. Um, and it is ticks. So what's the big deal with ticks? Yes, they're gross, but who cares if um, I found one on my dog and cats? So from a doctor's perspective, and the thing I want you guys to be concerned about are diseases. So ticks are nasty. They cause itchy itchy bites that we scratch at and that our pets scratch at. Um, but the big concern is the fact that they carry diseases. And it's not just one disease. Um, you know, it can be a number of different diseases. Anything from ehrlichiosis, which can shut down the body and its organs, um, to Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, to Lyme's disease, which can cause joint disease and other organ problems to um, anaplasmosis. All of those are different tick-borne diseases that we see in our dogs, of course, in our cats. We can see cytozoonosis, which can also be fatal. So ticks are nasty little bugs, and they carry major, major diseases. So what do you need to do to help protect your pets against tick disease? Well, the first thing we wanna do is to aim at preventing them. So what can we do to prevent them from getting on our pets in the first place? And so one of the big things is in your immediate yard, which I know some of you guys live out in the country and you cannot spray uh, all 40 acres uh, of your your property usually, but making sure you kind of spray those areas where your dogs and cats go. Um, definitely in the immediate yard, spraying your yard for ticks and fleas is going to help decrease that load. Um, but it's also important to give your ticks I'm sorry, your pets, the proper prevention too. So currently right now, what we are recommending for dogs and cats older than six months of age is a product called Brevecto. And the reason I like that product is it because it kills ticks the fastest. So from a, from a, pers a doctor's perspective, the faster I can kill a tick, the less likelihood there is disease transmission. There is no product on the market that is gonna repel ticks. That means the tick has to bite the animal, get whatever product is in their system, and then they die, okay? The longer a, a tick is attached, and the longer they feed, the more um, increased risk there is for disease transmission. So I want to kill those ticks as fast as possible. And right now, um, that's Brevecto, okay? It is for, for dogs, it's a chewable they take once every three months. For cats, it's a topical that lasts for three months. Um, so that is the, the safest and the fastest killing product that there is right now in veterinary medicine. Now, what do you do if they're under six months of age? Um, right now we use a product in our dogs called NexGuard, okay? Um, it is a, um, also a chewable, but instead of taking it once every three months, they take it once a month. And so that is what we recommend for puppies. For cats, we use Revolution Plus, which has a tick prevention in it, and that also protects them and keeps them well taken care of. Um, what else can you do to, to try to avoid some of these diseases? There are some of the diseases that there are actually vaccinations for, um, with the big one being Lyme's disease, okay? Um, and where we use Lyme's disease is actually in our dogs, okay? So we don't use it in cats, but we use it in our dogs. It's a two booster series, and basically that's giving that, that dog that extra protection. So not only are we spraying the yard, not only are we using prevention, but we're going that third step further and saying, okay, so there are ticks that they still have to bite in order to get the product. So there is a possibility that there might be a little bit of disease transmission there. So what can I do to protect that third one? We vaccinate against the diseases that we have vaccines for. So Lyme's disease is the big one. Um, now, not every pet will they need to have Lyme's vaccination. That's where it's very important to talk to your primary veterinarian and find out um, and discuss with them what the exposure or what the risk is. And so um, most of the time I'm using Lyme's vaccination when I have a high exposure for ticks. Um, when we live out in the country, when we're seeing ticks all the time, um, when um, we're, we're out in the woods or hiking and all the time, those are places where I would recommend Lyme's vaccination. If you are in, in town and you spray your 
yard and you really don't have a whole lot of access um, for your pets to um, the woods or tall grass or anything like that, then maybe they're not as a high risk for Lyme's disease. And so maybe we don't do the Lyme's vaccination in them. So it's so very important to talk to your veterinarian about the exposure risk and what they recommend. Um, again, this is what we here at Cornerstone Animal Hospital recommend. We have found these products to work very well. Um, they are, of all the products that are on the market, we have found them to be the safest um, because they only work on the, on the insect system. So it is completely inert in the mammal body, body. so in the dogs and cats body, it doesn't react with them. It's, it's inert, and so um, we don't see the side effects that we see with some of the other preventions that we used to have years ago. Um, we don't see the resistance that we've seen with some of the other products that came out years ago. Um, it is the safest and the most effective products right now. And so Brevecto is what we are currently recommending. Um, so again, your tips for protecting your pets against ticks is one, make sure you're treating your yard. Two, make sure that you have them on proper prevention year round because it only has to be about 39 degrees outside for ticks to come out, which means they can come out even in the winter time because it gets warm that, that high sometimes in the winter time. And then we'll also we're taking that third step for those animals that have high exposure loads. Um, we're vaccinating them against the diseases that we have vaccines for. As always, a tip that I always give, which is a no-brainer, of course, because you guys love your pets, is to spend some time loving on your pet every day. Um, and while that sounds like, duh, I do that already, but that is a fantastic time to actually go and you're petting your pet, um, you're checking for lumps and bumps, um, and you can check for ticks on a daily basis. Um, get them off as soon as you notice them. Um, there are some ticks that can transmit disease in as little as 15 minutes. So the more you love on your, your puppy or, or your cat um, and get those ticks off, the less likelihood there is disease transmission. All right. Well, that sums it up for today's talk. I will see you next week. All right. Bye-bye.